morning, everybody. <laughs> I'm in the little wood, also known as Martin, and welcome to Cube World Day 2. Yesterday was pretty full on, wasn't it? We got into the world for the first time, and just as we're trying to find our feet, nothing happens other than us getting attacked by elves and trolls, and oh, it was just an absolute nightmare. But today we're here in Nano City. We're going to go and do a little bit of fighting in a few. We need to get some levels up, I reckon, before we even try and venture close towards a, uh, a dungeon. But over here, we actually have uh, the investigator or the inspector. <laughs> So you probably remember that the person yesterday told us all about this place where if we bring some scraps to them They'll be able to identify exactly what it does I don't think I can do it with anything other than leftovers or scraps So I'm not even going to try it with that got ingredients We've got items and we've got equipment as well So none of those actually contain what we need uh, over by here I also noticed that there is a weapon shop and also a potion shop as well and considering I've already blasted through all of my health potions um, <laughs> It's probably worth me actually picking up some so if we go into here I've got currently how much uh have i got in my bag i've got 69 coppers so hopefully that's going to be enough let's have a look a glass flask no iron lamp no <gasps> a wooden hang glider 10 silvers that's so much okay we've got a wooden boat for 10 silvers as well oh a formula to make a balanced iron shield wow so i can actually buy formulas in order to make things that's a wooden bow oh a plain cotton shoulder armor but well, that's plus one. I think that's an upgrade as opposed to actually creating the default one. I tell you what, it's only two copper. I can afford that. So let me buy it. Did I buy it? Let me check. Ah, yeah, I got it. Okay, cool. And then what else do I need? I mean, that'll be the formula for how to make it. But <laughs> I can almost guarantee that I won't have the resources in order to do so. Um, and that's it, isn't it? It doesn't actually sell any potions. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. <gasps> bombs as well. Yes, bombs. We heard all about those yesterday. I'll grab some of those. Um, what else have we got? There's loads of stuff to buy here. Have we got a better wand at all? A wooden boomerang. That's pretty cool. You have to be a ranger to use a boomerang, though. I'd really like to check that out, actually. Um, use wooden wand. That's a blue one. A handsome iron dagger. Uh, any potions? No, so that was all the recipes that he has. And that's, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that's a buyback window as well. So that's disappointing. Nothing inside of there, no? Okay, not a problem. Let's check some of the other shops then. So we don't have any more potions. I think we'll have to actually find those, which is going to be a nightmare considering how low level we are. We almost died against, like, dogs yesterday, so I don't know how we're going to stand up against anything else. Ah, here we are. So these are actually fully and ready-made weapons. Before I do that, let me see if my little crafting recipe that I just bought... Um, can do anything beyond that. Oh, you have to be a rogue to wear that anyway. I'm a fool. I should have noticed that. Not a problem. Not a problem. There's only two. Oh, no. I do not want to do that. Bloody hell. There must be... They should disable left click and right click in towns. Although, I guess if you do get chased into here, then you might need it. So, that's a bow. Wood iron fist. Uh, oh, a silver bracelet. No. Is there anything like magey? Ah, there's a scratched wooden wand. It does damage 10.5, which is a bit better than what we already have. I've got enough for it, but it says power 14 adapter in red. So maybe I'm not high enough level to use it yet. Basically, if anything's got red on it, I i don't think I can wield it. I guess I could always buy it for when I can wield it. Hmm. Let me try it. Should I try the wand? Although I already have a scratched wooden wand, don't I? Let me check my inventory. Hold on a second. Weapons. Oh, that's a wooden... No, no, hold on. Wait, where is it? A wooden wand. Mm, no, I tell you what, it's not it's not a significant enough boost, is it, between my current uh, items and later on ones for me to actually upgrade to it just now. So I don't actually know where you buy potions from. Maybe you do buy them from that shop that just haven't been added in. Or maybe certain cities only, you know, specialise in certain things. I don't know if that's a possibility, uh, but that's not a problem. Let's see what this mysterious house is just on the borders of the town. Who lives here? Let's see. Let's have a look. Hello? Oh, oh, this is just another inn. Okay, never mind. Right, we need to get back out into the world because we've got some serious... Can I climb through there? No, I'm not small enough. <laughs> I'd have to be a dwarf to get through there. Not a problem. Right, I reckon we're going to head out and we're going to go and kill a load of stuff. We're going to explore the world a little bit, see what we can find. And I'm going to save up my money in order to get myself... A um to get myself a hang glider. That's my that's my initial goal in this game. I'm not bothered about upgrading my own items. I just want a hang glider. Ah, oh, oh, we got some soup. Okay, cool. How do I take it? Oh no, these are things that I can make. Ah, I see. Okay, so I can make silk chest armor. I need silk yarn. I need twenty of those. I can make some soup if I find some ginseng roots. I can make a life potion. I need uh, heart flowers and water flasks. Well, I know where to get water flasks from, 
So that's pretty easy. What's that button do? Oh, I think that's the button to craft them. Ah, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, if I get any of those things, I will make sure I come back here, and then I'll be able to, um, I'll be able to craft them, which is cool. So I only need a fire to make things. I don't actually need a, uh, an anvil to make certain things. Was that a cow over there? Oh my god, that's like a bull of some sort. Is that a bush? Look at that. Ooh! Those are pretty cool noises. A cobweb. Yeah, I'll take those. I'm sure there's some use in those. Right, let's attack this cow then. Let's see what we get from it. Oh, okay, I may have aggroed too many cows! Oh, why do I always do this to myself? Oh dear, oh dear. God. This cow's pack a punch, don't they? Oh god! <laughs> Move out the way! Oh god! Put only slightly intended. There you go. Just about survived. Oh, a heart flower. Good. So it looks like if I kill lower level mobs, I'll get heart flowers from them. And then I'll actually be able to heal up um, after I've killed them with the things that they drop. Which means that I'm probably going to have to go back to the town and buy myself a water flask. Which I think was available from the potion shop? If I buy like, let's say, 10... I'll basically buy as many as I can for now. Or at least a decent chunk. <gasps> can I steal from the farm? Oh. Hello, I can steal pineapples. Hey, tell you what, I want to have like a pineapple taste in, um... Pineapple taste in he uh, health pot. Yeah, that's pretty cool. As long as I don't get caught by the by the farmer. He probably would kill me in one shot, given my HP right now. <laughs> so, let's not risk that. Is there a bed upstairs? Yeah, there is. Okay. It looks like there's a bed really close to the edge of the town. So, rather than making a potion, because that's just going to be too much back and forth, I'll just come back and forth between here and the cows for now. Until I get a level. I'm only halfway to level 2. So that's pretty cool. And then I'll be able to actually spend a skill point as well. So I'll be able to upgrade myself uh, from a level 1 fire mage to a level 2 one. I know yesterday I said I was going to be a water mage, but I can't help it. I got a bit of a, uh, what's it called? A pyromaniac inside of me. It's my other side. He likes to take over sometimes. I'm like a free spirit. I'm like a free flowing water spirit. But the evil darkness inside me just wants things to burn. That's quite dark, isn't it? But you know what I mean. Oh, no. Okay. Did that cow just fall from the sky? That's not right. That's really not right at all. Is that a different mob in the in the distance? Let's just get him like this. There you go. Snagger him, maybe? No. Cool. And again. Nice. Fantastic. What was that? I just picked something up. A common linen boot. Oh, I have to be a ranger to wear that. Bugger me. So you can actually pick up items from the cows and stuff, which is pretty sweet. There's another cow there in the shadows. And there are some weird bird-looking things over there. I've actually seen these before on um, on some of the previous blog posts. Ah, screw you, man. There you go. Oh, what was that? Did I get some kind of critical hit? Or was it just because I got a high combo rate? Got some money from you, and I also got something else as well. Ah, I got a dagger. Well, actually, a good point. Uh, if I can't afford things in town, I can always sell the things that drop off these mobs. Oh, that's going to be too many of them. Oh, actually, I managed to... Now just the one. Oh, I might get the one behind him in a second. Now I'm good. Bloody hell, he's fast. Right, and then hit him with a single. There you go. Good. So I've got to play to my strengths here. The fact that I can do stuff from a distance. He's got an orange name as opposed to a blue name. I don't know what that means. There we go. I love the fact that you have to aim really well on this. There we go. Just keep spamming him with these. Fantastic. And now I'm all out. And another one, yes, good times. I could probably kill about five or six at a time before having to run back to the, uh, before having to run back to the town. There we go. Now, I'm wondering if I can actually guide these attacks once, uh, ah, good. If I just hit him with as many of those as possible. There you go. My mana seems to regenerate relatively quickly as well. I'm sure I'll get items in the future that will actually have a higher mana, uh, mana regen rate and stuff like that, which will be very, very helpful. Nothing else around here, no? Okay, let's keep on moving out. I don't want to move too far away from the radius of the town. Just because when I do need to go back to heal, uh, I don't want it to be too long of a stretch. Uh, oh, a shrub there. Or a scrub. <laughs> I, I put no them scrubs. A fiend. Best gamer in the world. Play the games. How strong is that bee going to be? Oh, it's a hornet. I'm pretty sure bees hate fire, though. I do wonder in this if there's actually things that you can be super effective against. Dependent on whether you choose to be a fire or a water mage. So when you do go on these dungeon runs and raid, um, you'll actually be more of a help or a hindrance to certain teams and certain parties. But currently, it's... Oh, what are those? Oh, shoulder armor for warriors. Come on! Show the mage some love. 
Should have made some love. Like I was about to say, uh, yeah, you can actually play this on co-op currently, as far as I'm aware. Uh, to begin with, it's only up to four players, but in the future, they are looking into sort of like MMO capabilities of it, which I think would be very, very cool. And one thing I haven't seen yet is any quests. I don't know if they're implemented in this version, but usually um, they have quests in games like this. And I know that is planned for them, but I don't know if they've actually been put in yet. Maybe I have to find the right sort of town. The starting town, like, closest to level one, isn't going to yield too much. There you go. Oh, close. I think I might have gotten health boost off of that as well. When I heard that twinkling noise, it seemed to regen me a little bit. So that's pretty cool. Why am I still on fire? Is that just an aura that's always around my being? That might get slightly annoying. I mean, I'm all for being intimidating, but <laughs> that looks a little bit overkill. Will it fade away? Yes? No? Maybe? No, I don't think so. Okay, never mind. Now, I'm really worried about these statues because they're spotted around the world. And I get the feeling that one day I'm going to take something off one of them. And an Indiana Jones effect is going to happen like this thing here, which looks like a giant egg. It's just going to, like, it's just going to roll straight down onto me and absolutely destroy me. Ah, there's a, oh, he's a, he's a friendly person. Ah, nothing in there. Can I destroy that crate? No, I can't. I thought maybe I could destroy that crate and then I could acquire some wooden blocks, but nope, apparently not. Right, where's an inn? Actually, any house. I like that, though, that every house actually has beds in. You don't have to be in an inn in order to sleep. You can sleep anywhere. Um, let's have a look. And also the fact that the inns don't cost either. In a lot of RPGs, it costs, like, some gold to stay in inns. Not much, admittedly, but sometimes it's, you know, a little bit of a cost in order to stay there. It's usually just the price of maybe killing, like, one or two mobs in order to stay there. Like, you know, for, like, 100 gold or something. It never really exceeds that. Although, to be fair, 100 gold in this game would be a hell of a lot in this game currently i'd say i don't know maybe like 10 10 copper to stay in in would be a reasonable price and uh, like i said as well around here it is a level one town so by that i mean that the world procedurally generates and the world gets harder the further out that you venture so if you're level one in the starting area and suddenly you think hey it's a bit easy around here maybe i should you know go elsewhere as you move out it's essentially like a ring is what i'm going to assume and the further you go out ah you can just find the heart flowers anywhere what? That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, the further you go out, the higher the level not only the cities become, but also uh, the dungeons and also the mobs that inhabit them as well become. So uh, don't try and rush out too fast. Don't try and go too far because you will get your ass handed to you. I'm just going to warn you now. Right, the potion shop's up here. So I'm going to sell some stuff to him and then I'm going to buy a couple of water flasks. And I think I need to keep more of an eye out for these. Um, what are you doing? Oh, I thought you were like his apprentice or something. <laughs> Never mind. Hello to you. Right, let me sell these. 25 copper, cha-ching. 20 copper, cha-ching. 18 copper, cha-ching. That's 40. That... Ooh, I'm going to keep that for now because I'm still not 100% sure on selling it. There you go. That's two of those. How much was it? 10 silver for my hang glider. So I'm a tenth of the way there. If I buy two more of these... There we go. Yeah, I'm about a tenth and a bit of the way there to actually doing it. So now how do I actually craft it? Do I need to go over to the fire in order to do that? Let me check my escape menu. So that's inventory, world map, options, skills, and help as well. Okay, yeah. So it looks like I'm going to have to go to that fire or some kind of crafting thing. Uh, there's no anvils over here. Maybe I can just, like, set a fire. I wonder if that's anything you can do. You can actually just pop a fire out anywhere and set up your own little camp. I'm pretty sure the fire was just, because uh, that was the house that was on the border of the town, wasn't it? And then just to the left of it, I think I saw the camp down here, just down the hill. Where is it? Keep an eye out for some flames, everybody. It's got to be somewhere around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Yeah, I can see the little bench. I like that it's got its own little table and stuff. That's <laughs> pretty cool. And one thing you'll notice as well with this game is the fact that... Um, it's not restricted, and by that I mean in Minecraft, a lot of the time when people make mobs, it's either retextured existing mobs or very basic um, basic mobs in the game. But in this, you'll see there's any number of mobs. There's huge, like, trolls, there's huge cyclopses, there's all different kinds of animals. And you've already seen with, like, pigs and sheeps and stuff like that, everything looks completely different. It's not too, like, you know, the number of cubes and the number of voxels is actually quite high on such a small mob, which is cool. Right, how did I do this before? Maybe I just pressed the wrong button before. Um, I did it on the fire, didn't I? Ah, there we go. Examine. Good. Right, so if I make a... I need that to do that. So where is it? Where are the potions? Ah, life potion. Oh, wait, I have water flasks. Oh, wait, did I buy an empty flask? Are you having a giraffe? Hold on a minute. Where is it? 
Oh, for God's sake, I've bought a glass flask. That's no help to anyone. I think I've got to take it out here. I, I wonder if this is how you do it. If I do this, drag it onto one. Can I not equip it? There might be a way for me to interact with water. Unless I need to go to a well and fill that up with water. Or it might just be a case that you can't... You can't fill them up. You have to buy water flasks. If I stand here and do that... Ah! Oh, wait, what? No, don't drop it! Or maybe if I drop it, it fills up. Glass flask, no. So how do I do this? There must be a way... No, that's fire. Don't, don't bother with that. Let's see. Inventory... Hmm... I thought maybe I could attach this to one. Maybe if I attach it to Q, no? One, two, three, or four? No. I really can't work this out. Maybe I, I have to actually buy water flasks. Wait, what was that noise? I keep it... That sounds like a water flask filling up, doesn't it? That is the oddest running animation on water I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> Never mind. At least I've got a, a glass flask for now. That's not a problem. I just have to keep pushing out and pushing onwards. I'm sure I'll work it out at some point. If anybody knows, I'm sure there's going to be a cube board wiki inside the next couple of days. So I'm going to have a look on there and see if that will fill me in on exactly how to do that. Uh, but I've got full health for now, so I'll be okay. Let's kill some more stuff. I, I so want to get that hang glider just to show you all. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to mess with those elves. Far, far too many of them. If I head across the, the river, they might not spot me. <laughs> I'm really worried about the penalty for when I die. I really don't want to lose too much stuff if I die, because that would be pretty upsetting. Ah, cotton plant. Can I pick that? There we go. Ah, cool. So I wonder if I collect more of those, whether I'll be able to make more cotton armor. So I guess it's just a, a trial and error and a learning process as to which things in the world you can actually, um, you can actually yield resources from. That's pretty sweet. I really want to go up that mountain, but I don't think there's going to be anything at the top for me. It's just going to be it's just going to be a blank hill. I think we're actually back to where we started now, which isn't the best idea, because now we're incredibly far away from the town. We burn that thing. There you go. Get some cobwebs again. Is that a fish? I think I just saw a fish. Oh, my God. Oh, no, it's a terrier. Oh, dear. What's he doing in the water? He's going to be passive, isn't he? He doesn't... Uh, pull any aggro, so we'll be okay with him. But there are... Are oh, there chickens in there as well? I thought I saw something in here. <laughs> what are you doing? Chickens aren't known for swimming. I don't know what your deal is. I love the splash as well. I wonder how high up from you can actually jump into water and not take any damage. Maybe it's a case of you never take damage. <gasps> oh, so if you kill bushes, you get wooden logs. Okay, this is, this is good. Is that a pony? I think that's a phony. Oh my god, yes. Oh dear. Should I try and take them out? Oh, no. I don't want to risk it. I really want to go see the ponies, though. I want to ride the pony! Okay, if I... If I go around the side, maybe they won't spot me. I'm going to have to be a sly and dark mage. Okay, they're not going to spot me from there. That heart, that tree looks like a heart. That's adorable. Okay, out we go. Oh! Why are they fighting each other? Maybe I should join in with this. While they're all hurting each other, I should hurt them. Nope, they all missed. That seems strange that they were attacking each other. Unless they were attacking some sort of mob. That's probably what they were doing. Oh, look at the pony. Hello! It's like a little Shetland. Oh, God, you're just the cutest thing ever. How do I tame you? I, I want to be your friend. How do I tame you? No? Okay. I'll leave you for now, then. You've done me no harm. Let's have a look. Ah, cool. Are those guys still at it? Maybe I should get them. A ball stone. Let's go for it. I keep missing them, though. It's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. Ah, so some blocks I can't actually jump straight up, but it seems like others I can. Oh, sugar wolves. Okay. Oh, dear. Do they come in packs? No, it seems like... It seems like mobs that aggro quite hard are only if you actually attack them. Or, uh, sorry, no. Uh, but what I meant to say was there's some mobs that are passive, some that aggro when you hit them, and some that will just aggro in general. There you go, level up! Oh, I want to see Ding in the comments. Everybody should type Ding. That's good, level two. And we're only on day two. This is good. I should get a level per day. That should be like a goal of mine. Right, hold on a second. Let me take out this wolf before I try crafting anything. In case he is going to be a dick about it. There you go. Back off, bro. That's it. I'm going to stick to the quick attacks now. There you go. And maybe one more firebolt. Or the firestorm. Or fire salvo, as it's called. There you go, thank you. 
Anything on you? No. Bugger all. So it seems like wolves I get 8 experience from, which considering I only need 90 XP, is pretty good. So water flasks, I'm still confused. Maybe this is a crafting recipe for water flasks. Ah, here we go. Oh, wait! Oh, silly me. So it was just a matter of doing that the whole time. Requires water. So how do I open that then? I can't have a fire. I can't have a log fire in water. I don't know what you want from me. I don't, I don't understand. How am I supposed to craft? This makes no sense. You're telling me to make a water flask. All I need is that. Oh, sugar. Balls. Bloody hell. Human bandits. Oh. You are having a giraffe. I don't believe that. So that's what they're for. Ah, those are respawn points. Right, okay. Well, I'm pissed now. I'm going to take it out on these two. They've done nothing wrong to me. Oh, that doesn't actually attack them. They were friendly. Where were you 10 minutes ago? Well, I say 10 minutes ago, 10 seconds ago. Let me speak to you. Actually, maybe you'll become companions. Your favourite food is ginseng. I don't care. I love camp. Of course you do. Well, that's it. That's <laughs> it. I died. What have I lost? Have I lost everything or nothing? Oh, it doesn't appear I've lost anything. Maybe... Maybe there's no punishment. Maybe you do literally just have to teleport back to where you were a second ago. I can't see anything on the screen about any kind of penalty. My power is only five, though, currently. Maybe my power is reduced for a little while. But, yeah, I can't see any kind of overlay on the main HUD that says that I've been um, penalised for actually dying. Hmm, interesting. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to leave it there for today. We got to level two, we got killed by bandits, and I still haven't the foggiest how to make a water flask. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I shall see you all in a little bit. Bye!